Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome to another NHL 22 video. Again, that time has arrived. This is the second video that I am putting up by popular demand heading into this new game. Of course, the first one, if you missed it, was a full rundown of the jerseys that are in the game this year. And if you want to take a look at that, feel free. This video, of course, you already know about the title, will be us taking a look at the rosters in this game. It will be using this October 4th, 2021 update. So keep that in mind as well. And of course, roster sharing not currently in the game. It will be added in this December. So keep that in mind. But yeah, if you want to see all the jerseys and everything like that, then hey, that other video is for you. Otherwise... Let's get down to business with this one. It's going to be a little bit of a journey here, as it always is. So let's see what happens. And again, we will scroll through here. Uh, not going to point out every single thing about every single team, right? And I mean, for example, with players that have X factors, I actually don't think there are any that uh, yeah, were on Anaheim. Uh, but obviously for a goalie like John Gibson, hey, I mean, I could click on it and just be like, here's all the abilities. I don't know. I mean, there's 50 players to do that for. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But, uh, yeah. Your Anaheim Ducks to start off. Uh, the Arizona Coyotes. Led by Phil Kessel. On the trading block for the team currently. Dimitri Askin back in an NHL game. Uh, Jake Chikrin in terms of his abilities. Again, no uh, zone abilities, but does have the superstar abilities. The lesser of the boosts. Goaltending wise as well, but yeah, it would be a little bit too much to have to comment on every single overall and potential and stuff like that. So we definitely won't be doing that. But I don't know. I mean, there are certainly some interesting ratings, some players on the Bruins that'll be bumped up, not due to bias, but just due to facts. Marshawn, of course, with the snapshot boost. Bergeron, of course, has all the zone and X Factor abilities, as does. Uh, David Postnark, Taylor Hall has some minor abilities as well. Interesting Bruins team in terms of these ratings. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres, how much longer will Jack Eichel be on the team? That is the question. But there you see the abilities that he provides. Dylan Cousins rocking in at an 82, huh? Interesting. Don't know if I'd quite go with that. Rasmus Dahlin, by the way, has no abilities. Very, very surprising, in my opinion. And then Craig Anderson and Aaron Dell, two guys who have much higher ratings than they should at this point. It's a bit surprising. Also surprising that Markstrom, clocking at an 88 overall, but he does not have any abilities. Uh, it's going to be interesting to kind of break all this down. Eric Branson has a 74, though. Man, EA is harsh. EA is harsh. Johnny Goodrow has some abilities as well. Elias Lindholm. Monahan gets nothing, though. Oh, Luch still clocking in at an 80 overall. Take a look at the Carolina Hurricanes. Sebastian Ajo, third eye for the boost to the passing. Svechnikov has some abilities. Tavo as well. Sound of any Trocek. Martin Natchez. Of course, Kock in the Emmy. Clocking in at a low elite. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bit accurate, actually, given the the changes with him. On defense, Slavin, his zone ability. The only defender on the team that actually has uh, any abilities there. Goalie wise, Freddie Anderson and Antti Ranta. Let's see, Chicago, Marc Andre Fleury has a zone ability. Kevin Lankin in there behind him. Seth Jones, of course, one of the more controversial defenders. He does have uh, his own ability, despite being just an 86 overall. And again, it's very much of my opinion that, you know, just be, you don't have to have a certain rating to have a zone ability, right? Like, there are certain guys, I think, that uh, very much should have superstar zone abilities, even if they're uh, lower rated. It solely depends on their play style. You know, the example I used in the, uh, the jersey run-through was someone like Matt Martin really should have something relating to his checking. We'll see if he does. It's Colorado, of course. Nathan McKinnon gets a maximum of five superstar abilities and a zone ability. Colorado's looking 
Pretty good. Alex Newhook. Still no picture. That's unfortunate, but he does have a medium elite. Uh, defensively, Kale McCarr. The lead edges as his own ability. Sam Girard. Four superstar abilities. Devontae is still one of the most underrated defensemen in this game. He, Girard, and McCarr all deserve higher ratings. That's outrageous, in my opinion. Will certainly be changed once uh, once I get into the roster editing this year. Columbus, Elvis Merzlikens, Jonas Corposalo. On defense, Zach Wierenski's mustache. You get into Adam Boakvist, Jake Bean, Gavrikov, and Kukin, both uh, underrated. Gotta be honest. Can't wait to get into changing all this up. That's for, for, that's for sure. Bjorkstrand is honestly pretty underrated as well. Uh, Four check with a couple of superstar abilities. Patrick Line with abilities as well. No X Factor for him, though. Stomi at an 82. It's Eric Robinson, speed at. That'll be getting bumped up. <laughs> Kevin Stenlin, Sean Corrali. Not bad. Dallas, Sagan, no abilities whatsoever. Pavelski, though, does have abilities. He has Big Tipper as his own ability. Radulov has abilities. Jamie Benn, no abilities either. But Rupe Hints has wheels and make it snappy. Wonder how Stars fans are going to feel about that. Jason Robertson does have a medium elite potential by default. Don't know if Gurianov also deserves a medium elite, but at least they got Robin, uh, excuse me, Robertson right because that guy is a stud. So good. Uh, for defenseman, Mira Haskinen clocking in at an 86. John Klingberg uh, with nearly the same uh, abilities, just seeing eye and send it. So difference makers, Ryan Suter has some abilities. And a goal, Ben Bishop, Anton Hadobin, and Braden Holpe. No abilities for any of them. Uh, for Detroit, Alex Nedeljkovic and Thomas Grice. Letty, Ronick, Stetcher, DeKaiser, Oosterle, and Mark Stahl. For the forwards, Larkin. A couple of abilities, nothing for Bertuzzi, Verana. And nothing else there. Larkin is the only guy. Uh, for Edmonton, of course, I mean, yeah. McDavid, Dreisaitl, Nuge has tape to tape. Nothing for Zach Hyman or Pool Party. Moto, Fogel. Oh, goodness. All right. Ryan McLeod with a low top six. That's a bit disrespectful. Uh, Darnell Nurse also has some abilities, as does Tyson Berry. Duncan Keith looking like he just walked out of a cave. What's Oscar Clefbaum's durability? 75. It could be lower. CC Bouchard, Cuckoo, and Russell. Mike Smith does have some abilities, as you would expect. Those are very much appropriate for him. Koskinen and Stalock. Panthers have Bobrovsky and Spencer Knight, Sans picture. Uh, Aaron Ekblad, though, on the Panthers. Looking decent, as is Mackenzie Wegar. No other abilities from the looks of it there, though. Let's see, you got Barkoff. All alone, known for penalty shots and breakaways. I don't know if that's the ability I'd give Sasha Barkoff. Huberto looking good as well. Of course, they end up with the likes of Sam Reinhardt, Joe Thornton. It's still very weird. No respect to Sam Bennett after a good second half of the season once the Cats acquired him. Maxime Memain back on the Panthers. Yuho Lamico as well. For LA, Anze Kopitar. Looking good. Philip Deneau has no abilities related to his defensive work or, or you know, like face-off ability. That seems shocking to me. It's interesting who got abilities and who didn't, according to EA. Love the hair on Alex Afalo. Big fan. Clinton Byfield still rocking in the medium elites. Uh, Drew Doughty, of course, no longer one of the highest-rated defensemen, nor does he have his own ability, but he does still have some... Ability is there. How weird is it to see Alex Edler no longer on Vancouver? And Cal Peterson, now the higher rated of the two goalies in LA, of course. Capo Kakinen and Cam Talbot in Minnesota. Shout out to the Hamburglar for sticking around. Jared Spurgeon, incredibly underrated. 
That overall should be much higher, but at least they gave him some abilities. Uh, Jonas Brodeen as well. Another guy who was so stupidly underrated by EA. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. He's been one of the best defensive defensemen in the league for a while. Um, love the look for John Merrill. Kulikov, honestly, too. Uh, could be worthy of a higher rating. And, of course, Kirill Kaprizov. Not only gets the 88, but he gets an X-Factor. Uh, Erickson Eck has some abilities. Kevin Fiala has some abilities. Kazoo, Greenway. Don't know if we uh, missed anybody here. I don't think we did. Montreal, Brendan Gallagher. Some abilities. Suzuki, no abilities, but he is a medium elite. Uh, Toffoli has the Schnipe ability as well. Tony, man, I'm worried that Mike Hoffman could be uh, <laughs> this their version of Toffoli this year. They got Drew M back. Cole Caulfield has a picture at the start of the game. Very nice. Definitely one of those things I think we've all still asked for is if someone doesn't have a picture, at least let it be their in-game model. That hasn't happened yet. Petrie with some abilities. Weber, everything but his own ability. You know, despite him playing for the Habs, I'm a big Shea Weber fan, and hopefully we haven't seen the last of him. Romanov with a picture as well, a medium four. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. It's a high four, bare minimum. Uh, Carey Price. Uh, we'll, we'll keep some boosts. Don't know if he'll be a 90 overall for me. And Jake Allen, again, this is the year where you could give guys some lower overalls, but the X factors can still be there. UC Saros also has post to post. Big save, David. There are Roman Yossi. Eckholm also with a couple of abilities. Don't know if Dante Fabro should be an 82. Definitely some very weird ratings in this game at times, even still. Uh, Philip Forsberg's mustache. Five abilities. Everything but his own ability for Philip Forsberg. Granlin, Johansson, Matt Duchesne. So these player pictures look good, and quite a few of them are uh, recent as well. Somewhat updated. Got Cody Glass. Also rocking a low elite now following the trade. Don't know if I uh, entirely disagree with that. New Jersey, Nico Heischer, no abilities for he, Tatar, Jack Hughes. Hughes does have high elite, though. I think that's debatable. Sharon Govich at a low six as well. I think that's that's also debatable. A team that you'd probably see a lot of change uh, coming to once I get the edits in there. See, defensively, Dougie, though, does have his own ability. He's got Heat Seeker. Nobody else with any abilities. Ty Smith still only at a medium four. That's that's instantly, you know, debatable. You got Blackwood and Jonathan Bernier. The Islanders, Varlamov. He's got butterfly effects. There's Sorokin. Also there. No abilities for Ryan Pollock or Adam Pellick, both of whom, man, you can argue a 90, 90 plus for those two. They're both fantastic. Highly, highly underrated. You could say a product of the system that they play in, but they're both fantastic players. That's very disappointing. Let's look at it. I haven't seen it yet. Let's do it. This is one of the rare players I'm going to click on. Oh, man. That's... That hurts my soul. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. He looks a little bit off. I don't know what it is. Maybe he has too much hair. Char's face does look a little bit off. Mayfield, Hickey, Green, Aho, and Johnny Boychuk, of course, who's LTIR. Uh, Matt Barzell. Almost a full house of abilities. Nothing for Lee or Bailey, Nelson. But Villiers is definitely underrated. Wallstrom, though, does get a high six. Of course, Zach Parise, Sezikis, Leo Komarov. Yeah, see, there's, like, no hitting abilities to any of these guys. Like, Ross Johnston, he deserves something related to hitting ability. Uh, and he definitely will have something like that uh, once I go through and make those edits. That's it's ridiculous. You know, he's one of the most physical players in the game. You know, guys like 
Johnson, Matt Martin, like those guys should have abilities related to uh, to checking. We saw Mark Borowiecki on Nashville. Here on New York, I'm intrigued by uh, Ryan Reeves. You got Panarin, Sabanajad, and I think those are the only guys. Kreider with no abilities was uh, honestly kind of surprising. Lafreniere, Capocacco, Krabsoff. Yeah, Reeves with no abilities whatsoever related to checking. Um, I don't believe there's a fighting specific ability, but very surprising. Uh, Adam Fox at an 87. Could argue it should be better. No abilities for Truba. Lindgren, Patrick Nemeth, Keandre Miller has a picture. Zach Jones does not. Then Chesterkin, Georgiev, Kincaid, no abilities there. Ottawa, Matt Murray, Anton Forsberg. Shabbat with a couple of abilities. Artom Zub, Kita Zaitsev. Eric Brandstrom still has that medium elite. Mete, Nick Holden, Josh Brown. And forward, Brady Kachuk. Of course, still unsigned. Tim Stutzla, still rocking that medium elite. No updated picture for him. It's a little bit disappointing. Connor Brown looks miserable. <laughs> I think that's the that's the best way to explain it. Connor Brown looks miserable compared to when he was uh, compared to when he was in Toronto. Got Batherson, Tierney. Like I said, we're certainly not going to mention everybody. Uh, Philadelphia, Sean Couturier. Let's stick him up. Drew everything but his own ability. Nothing for JVR, which seems crazy. JVR should have something related to screening a goalie or something. Connect me, though, has a couple of abilities there. New addition in Cam Atkinson. There's a couple of abilities as well. Let's see what else we got here. On defense, Ryan Ellis. Another incredibly underrated player. Proveroff with a couple of abilities. Potentially overrated player. There's Ristos there. Sandheim's horrifically underrated. By whoever decides these ratings. Carter Hart, that overall is too high at this point. I'd still give him that potential. But yeah, he had an 876 last year, for God's sakes. Uh, Martin Jones, that rating is still way too high as well. Uh, Pittsburgh, Tristan Jari, Casey DeSmith. Chris Tang does have a zone ability related to back skating. Um, John Marino, no, he wasn't incredible. He and Pedersen, though, are uh, pretty underrated. Common theme. Crosby, of course. With his abilities of Genny Malkin, no zone ability. Jake Gensel has his own ability, though. You could argue an 87 is pretty low for him. Brian rusted an 84. That's horrifically low. Absolutely horrific. Surprised Jeff Carter doesn't have a slightly higher rating. After uh, his performance at the end of last year. San Jose with Tomas Hurdle. A couple of abilities there. Logan Couture as well. Vander Kane as well. Come back. Nick Benino. Keep forgetting that Benino is a shark now. John Leonard. Say a picture at the start as well. No abilities at all for Brent Burns or Eric Carlson. Very, very surprised. I gotta be honest. That was a shocking one there. And then, of course, Reimer and Aiden Hill. Seattle Kraken. Philip Grubauer. There's a couple of abilities. And you got Chris Drieger, Joey Decord, and Anton Bebo. On defense, everything but a zone ability. Well, I guess minus one superstar ability for Geo. Nothing for Larson, Vince Dunn. I believe, of course, someone like Kale Fleury is down in the minors. I don't think Kale Fleury was claimed, was he? I know he was on waivers. No abilities for Schwartz or Jordan Eberle. Of course, Brandon Tanev's infamous picture is still there, which is as awesome as ever. Like I said, let me think, uh, or you know, let me know what you think in terms of uh, any other egregious examples. St. Louis, Ryan O'Reilly has quick draw. No abilities whatsoever for Tarasenko or Braden Shen. 
Bushnevich has a couple of abilities. Perron as well. Nothing for Brandon Saad. It's interesting who has abilities and who doesn't. Nothing for Krug. Pareko with a couple of uh, options there. Nothing for Justin Falk. Interesting is the word I'll use. Jordan Bennington has a couple of abilities. Vili Huso is somehow an 80. You look at those AHL numbers and that NHL numbers to date. That set of NHL numbers to date. Yeah, I don't know if I'm giving him an 80, Chief. Vasilevsky, though. Top goaltender in the world. Looking all right. Nothing for Brian Elliott. Of course, there's Victor Hedman. Full deal there with abilities. McDonough has everything but his own ability. Chernock finally getting some respect. Took them long enough. Nikita Kucherov. Top forward on the team. Stamkos, of course, also has his own ability. Braden Point has a zone ability. Nothing for Sorelli or Palat. Nothing for Alex Kalorn, who honestly is underrated at that point. Nothing for Corey Perry. Related to physical play. I have questions, EA. I have questions. It's Austin Matthews with his abilities. Mitch Marner. No zone ability for Tavares or William Nylander. And you got Nick Ritchie, Alex Kerfoot, Andre Kasha. Surprised Jason Spezza has absolutely nothing. Morgan Riley and his abilities. Jake Muzzin, horrifically underrated in this game. Plus five would be appropriate with some defensive abilities, some physical abilities. Same for TJ Brody. I don't know who the hell made these ratings. And again, this is coming from a Bruins fan. How these two aren't significantly higher, I have no idea. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. And in goal, Mrazek rocking an 84. Campbell an 82. That seems low. Hutch at a 78. Demko at an 86. Lock at an 82. No abilities there. Quinn Hughes with his new contract. Oh. OEL having the same rating as Quinn Hughes. Everybody knows that's that's outrageous. Like, I like Oliver Ekman Larson. I have an OEL jersey. That is one of those legacy ratings that I've been talking about for years and years and years. That is absolutely horrific. Like that is that is as bad as Tucker Pullman's contract. Patterson and his abilities, Brock Besser, JT Miller, Bo Horvat with abilities as well, Connor Garland looking good, Mills Hoaglander still at a medium top six, you could argue for higher, of course Michael Ferland, it's a shame his career is pretty much done, uh, for Vegas, Mark Stone, Max Pacioretty, no abilities for March or so, or Wild Bill. Or Riley Smith or Alex Tuck. Again, questionable stuff. There's Nolan Patrick, of course, on his new team. No physical traits for William Carrier in terms of physical play is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. I cannot wait to finally uh, start getting down to it and fixing the stuff. Because it needs fixing. And thankfully for those of you here on Xbox, uh, you'll be good to go. You'll be covered. Now, for those of you on PlayStation, again, I'm not going to be able to do too much to help you guys, but there are people on PlayStation who are going to be making the effort. Um, and again, you know, you might not agree with everything that they do. You're not going to agree with everything I do either in terms of my edits. We already know that. So, John Carlson and his abilities. Justin Schultz should not be an 84. Dmitry Orloff, horrifically underrated. Nick Jensen, horrifically underrated. We got Ovi and his abilities, of course. Backstrom. Kuznetsov. TJ Oshie. Kuzi's overrated at this point, though. Tom Wilson having nothing related to physical play is a joke. Mantha's underrated at this point. Oh, some of these ratings, man. Carl Hagelin having nothing um, 
retaining that his speed seems off the mark as well. And for the Winnipeg Jets, Mark Shifley, Kyle Connor, Blake Wheeler, Nick Ellers. Dubois down to a medium top six. I don't know if he was there before, but... On the defensive side, Morrissey, honestly pretty overrated at this stage. Neil Pionk with a couple of abilities. Brendan Dillon's pretty underrated. Dylan DeMello's pretty underrated. Connor Hellebuck. Eric Comrie. So there you go. Those are the NHL ratings at this stage. I will still go um, through the other leagues as well. Um, obviously, I am not going to, uh, to comment as much here. Uh, there won't be any X factors to worry about either. Uh, so actually, what we'll do here is uh, I'll check out. I'll back out from this point. We'll just turn it over to the music. I will thank you all very much for watching. You know the deal. It's YouTube, man. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. A lot more NHL content coming your way. 22, like I said, is here. We'll have a franchise mode video up today, the day that this video drops excited for that one as well so again i will thank you all check out everything in the description of course my second channel is out there where we do everything related to fifa nba and madden of course this main channel is all hockey all the time podcast is out there as well the Tugis take podcast brought to you by your friends at manscaped feel free to check that out and subscribe on youtube or on spotify Apple, Google, the links are out there. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for checking this out. And let me know what you think, too, as we go through here. Of course, we'll end up getting to the SHL. We'll end up getting to Junior. Let me know what you think about certain ratings, certain overalls and potentials that you guys would change. Or at least like to see me change, if EA won't. As we get ready for Ross Sharing's launch in December. I'll see you guys later.
hobby. Looking so good, gotta tell somebody. Lose my mind when I see a hot body. Hot body. Makes me wanna fall in love. Makes me wanna fall in love. Don't stop now, just give me money. Move like a broke girl, it ain't no hobby. Looking so good, gotta tell somebody. Lose my mind when I see a hot body.
Standing on the edge of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Like a dragonfly Just grab my hand from him sin
was a part Mommy must have burst me up No one here to shine a real light Treated for a little star But it's just too much real No one here to pull me to the light Just too much again No one here to tell you to your side 